Hi everyone. I wrote a book. It's called The Lie That Binds. And as we sit here in 2020 with the Supreme Court on the precipice of dismantling access to abortion, access to contraception, and a whole raft of social progress that has been made over the decades, the lie that binds attempts to deconstruct the history of the radical right and all the lies that they told about what they wanted and how they got from here to there. They'd have you believe that they came to power fighting abortion after Roe v. Wade, but nothing could be further from the truth. Let me tell you a little bit of a story. When Jerry Falwell was coming to power in the late 60s and early 70s, he was doing it to fight school desegregation. He and his small band of fundamentalist allies, they didn't want to have their kids go to school with black children. Well, they lost that fight because school integration became the law of the land. And meanwhile, Phyllis Schlafly and her band of anti-feminist women, they effectively defeated the Equal Rights Amendment. Those two movements had one thing in common, a very strong desire to maintain power and privilege concentrated in the hands of predominantly white fundamentalist men. In a changing society, women were fighting for equal rights, black power movement was happening, they wanted to maintain rigid social order. They needed a new issue. They didn't fight Roe when it came down in 1973. In fact, they never talked about abortion until one day on a conference call in 1978 when they were strategizing around a new hot button issue to agitate their base. They batted around a dozen issues or so. And at the end of that conference call, a voice said, how about abortion? And that moment changed the trajectory of our history. They built a Trojan horse around abortion as the tip of the spear in an agenda that was all about fomenting racism and misogyny to keep white men at the top of the economic, social, and political pyramid. Full stop. Abortion at the time that Roe came down, abortion at the time that they chose it, and abortion access today remains popular. But a small minority has effectively used it to move an agenda that is anti-democratic and anti-social progress. Understanding this history is key to effectively fighting in this moment. We believe that in knowledge and in this common analysis, we can work together from an intersectional place to understand that social progress is in all of our best interest. And that when they weaponize our own ability to reproduce, it is an effort to keep people down, women, pregnant people, people of color. And together we must pull back the veil on their lie their origin lie, the idea that they were ever moral, the idea that they were ever a majority, because in that truth lies our power to make 2020 the year that we turn this thing around and start to fight more effectively for a better future. So I hope you will go to www.thelithatbinds.com, pre-order the book, it's an act of resistance. It's an act of education. Share one with your friend. Together, we will expose them for who they are and fight together for a better future.